So we have a couple more yummy pumpkin recipes for today. So welcome to my frontier. And I have another live studio audience today, which is so exciting. So we're going to have fun with that. Um, and we are making a pumpkin bacon carbonara today. And we are also going to make a pumpkin bacon cheese ball for your Halloween trick or treating tonight. Something quick and easy that you can make to snack on while you get up to open the door over and over and over again, we hope. We are ready here with our candy bar, so we are ready for the trick-or-treaters, but we have to have something to eat while we do that, so let's get started. I'm going to start to put this pasta in and get it going while we start making our sauces here in our cheese ball. Oh, wait, hold on, I need to get my people up here, which I don't have up here yet. Hold on, technology. Let me get you up here so I can see my people. Okay, there's Jill. Hey, Jill. Yes, you got it. I am. Today I am the Pioneer Woman. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, Jill. How do you like my hair, dude? Cute, huh? <laughs> okay, pasta. Go, go on in. We'll start there. Okay, so I'm going to start. If you've never made carbonara, it gets real creamy with the eggs and the egg yolks. So I am starting with um, room temperature eggs here. So I'm going to put two eggs in my dish here. And one of my one of my ranch hands already separated my yolks. <laughs> Cause that's what it's like living on the ranch. Yes, okay, I've got three yolks, two full eggs, and I'm gonna whisk those. I guess I should, I'm gonna need a whisk. So let me grab one here. <clears throat> and of course, in my collection of things, my pioneer wo woman collection of things, you can buy this whisk. Of course, the new ones have all the flowery handles. <laughs> oh, so is everyone else dressed up for Halloween? Post a picture of your dressed up. I want to see. I want to see. So those are my eggs and I'm going to put in here, see my recipe, a can of pumpkin. Not pumpkin pie mix. You will not like how that turns out in a savory dish. <laughs> Just the pumpkin. Get that going in there. Mix that in. Oh my gosh, this is going to be yummy, because what's not yummy with bacon? We can never use too much bacon around here, can we? Yummy! Okay, so into that I'm going to add a half a cup of grated Parmesan that is all ready to go here. Push my, I hear my pasta back there falling down into the pot. Okay, director, let's clear, clear the decks here. Hold on. I'm going to move that there, director man. See my pasta? Hold on, let's get it down in the bowl here. Okay, that is going. And one of my ranch hands is going to watch the time on that because I'm using gluten free uh, pasta and you definitely don't want to overcook it. But you can use any kind you have. I happen to be using fettuccine, but whatever you like will work for this dish. So, in there, we've got our pumpkin, our eggs, our parmesan. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper, so let's put a little salt and pepper in there. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Of course, I like fresh ground. You can use whatever kind you like, but I like it in pasta to have it be the fresh, big chunks of pepper. But whatever you like, whatever you like, just a guide. The recipe to me is just a guide. Oh, I can see my comments here. I can't see my people. i move my recipe here so I can see you guys. There you are. Hey, Seal, how are you? And Will, how are you? Welcome you guys. Happy Halloween. We're making bacon pumpkin carbonara and a pumpkin bacon like a cheese ball, like a dip. But I think I'm going to make it a ball. But we'll see when we get there. <laughs> okay, so that's our the beginning of our sauce for our carbonara. So I'm going to start our cheese ball. And I need another dish. There it is. I knew I had one. I knew I was ready. Okay, we're starting with you know, the basis of most things, a full block of cream cheese. 
that is softened. Because then it's just easier to mix when you guys are watching. Which means it's easier to mix when you're not watching. <laughs> you soften it, it blends much better. First of all, I get it out of the package. Here we go. So one block of cream cheese, whatever your favorite will do. Okay, and so into that, I'm going to put, switch recipes here. Hey Jill, what are you dressing up as today? Are you dr dressing up, whoops. Into that I'm gonna put about a half a cup, maybe a little more of grated cheese, but I'm gonna save a, lo a little bit to, to, roll, to roll it in when I get it done. And I'm gonna put our pumpkin in, about a half a cup. This is a little bit more the, than that, so we'll put about a half a cup in there of the pumpkin, a little more. And then, yes, 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 move, move, move. Um, I'm gonna put the pecans and the bacon and the green onions, so green onions, I'm gonna save some again to roll it in at the end. Pecans that my ranch hand just roasted for me. My ranch hand. Lindy, my BFF. And then some bacon going in this. Because again, what's not good with bacon? Yeah, yum, save some for the outside. And because we like things spicy here on the ranch, I'm gonna add some jalapeno Go, is going in. And again, I'm gonna save a little bit. If you've ever made a cheese ball, which I hadn't till the show. We made a cheese ball a few months ago. Um, they're yummy. And they're so pretty when you roll them in what's inside it. And have you guys ever made a cheese ball? I think I was the only one that never had. But we have now, because we've made all kinds of things here on the ranch since we started. <laughs> now I have a fun story that two years ago, because you know we go, I'm married to a cattle rancher from Oklahoma, like for real. And we go to Oklahoma in the, in the summers to the lake house. And we were there a couple years ago, and my sister and I made the trek from the lake house to Pahushka, to the Mercantile. And we went to visit Pioneer Woman in her native territory. And it was so much fun. I mean, she's taken her little hometown and turned it into this great tourist place with her Mercantile and the restaurants and the hotel. It is the cutest. It is in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma. It's awesome. So that day, we were in the Mercantile, just checking it out, it was so fun to be there. And they were giving out the tickets to go to the ranch, because they don't do it all the time. I guess it depends on you know her schedule. Well, we got one, and so we hopped back in the car and drove out another like 25 minutes to, um, oh, there's our pasta, hold that thought. Let's see how it's doing back here. I got my water boiling now. See, I was gonna totally forget about it like I knew I was going to. I don't think that's done yet, but I'm gonna grab one. Yeah, because I definitely don't wanna overcook it. Hold on. Mm, not yet, like two minutes. Okay, so we hop back in the car, we drive out even more to the boondocks, and you get off the highway, I mean highway. Two lane road paved is a highway where we were. We get off the road, we go at least two miles on the dirt road once we're on the Drummond Ranch and go and you get to go in the guest house. It's like this guest house where she films her show. It is so cool. It was so much fun. And she's got, you know, the studio set up like this. And then there's a whole nother commercial kitchen. It is just awesome. It was so fun. And who knew that here I would be doing this and being her for Halloween. So happy Halloween from Oklahoma. Almost. But married to the rancher cowboy from Oklahoma is true. I did do that's real. Okay, I'm gonna roll this. I'm gonna use my paper I was gonna serve it on, but I'm gonna use it. I'll get another one. So I'm gonna take some of my ingredients that I did with this cheese ball and put them here on the plate. And we're gonna make it pretty for your Halloween guests. If you're having friends, maybe neighbors, maybe out on the driveway, you do your neighbor thing. Our neighbors do, boy, our neighbors have gone all out. And they all sit out there on the driveway and, um, you know, have the kids go by. And it's really, really fun. So, from all my cheese, jalapeno, green onion, bacon, yum, in here. And I'm going to make a ball. Let's see how the ball goes. It's going to be okay. But you know what? I didn't taste this yet. Hold, hold on. So I'm going to taste this because I didn't put any salt and pepper in this yet. So, hold on. Before I make a ball. Mmm, we need salt and pepper. So, I'm so excited to make the ball. 
forgot salt and pepper. It happens, even on the ranch. I'm going to use some seasoned salt and some seasoned pepper. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's who I want it to be, Jill Carol Baskin from Tiger King. Totally. I mean, out of all the years, there's a costume that's awesome. And you want to do a group costume, you can do Tiger King. Because there were so many insanely crazy people on that show that that was perfect. This is, I'm going to pull this out of the water real quick while I finish them all. Okay, let's pull this up and out of the water. Ooh, ah, make a mess there. Just put my fire out, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, back to my ball. Um, Tiger King, yes. That was my, what I would have been if anyone was doing a group costume this year. And then can you believe she was on the Dancing with the Stars? Man. Okay. Now I've got my salt and pepper in there. Now we're going to try this again. The ball. The plan with the ball. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Going in. Keep it in round form here a little bit. Get all my goop in here. Okay. Ready? Surgery. Here we go. <laughs> we are going to make a ball. Because this, actually this recipe is called a dip. But I said, you know what? I think it would be cooler as a ball. So let's make a ball. You, you know, who's crafty? Not me! <laughs> but you know what? It all tastes good, right? Okay. Well, there we go. There's our ball. Yum! So then people know what's inside your ball by what's on the outside. So let me get my serving dish. Hold on. Because I was ready with that. Here we go. Okay, and on my serving dish, I'm going to put my beautiful ball of pumpkin yumminess. There you go. How about that? Quick and easy, yummy pumpkin Halloween appetizer. Director wants it back here. There you go. How's that? Yum. What do you think, gang? just based on how thick my pumpkin is. So I'm going to take a little bit more out. And then I'm going to dump it. Because uh, I'm going to toss this. I don't know how you guys can see this, but I'm, maybe we'll use, I'm going to use my cheese ball bowl. Because it's all the same thing going in this. What what do you want to do? You know what I mean? Okay, hold on. That goes, I'm slamming this. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Where do you want this? <laughs> I want to show it off. I want to show it off. Okay, I'm going to do, do this in here just so you guys can see. If I do it in the pot, you won't be able to see. Okay, so this has raw eggs in, uh, in it. So I'm going to take a little bit of the hot water. This is called tempering your eggs because we don't want to make scrambled eggs. So we're going to take the hot water and we're going to temper our eggs in here and stir some in because we're just going to use a little bit before we put it into the hot pasta. But then we won't make scrambled pumpkin eggs. Which, yeah, you know, I don't know. That could be good, I guess. Maybe. What do you think? We have used pumpkin in pretty much every way, haven't we? This month, here on Pumpkin Month, here on the ranch. Okay, so now we have tempered our eggs. So hopefully we do not make scrambled pumpkin eggs here with our pasta. And I'm going to take the pasta and put it in this dish. I wonder if hopefully it, it'll fit so I can toss it. And we're gonna, it turns into a creamy sauce. So we will give this a whirl. It'll fit in there. Oh yeah, we're good. So we are gonna take our sauce here and dump it in here. And we'll switch utensils here. Go to the tongs. Hey Kelsey, how are you? Welcome to my frontier. <laughs> so our sauce is going in. And then I'm gonna just stir this around a little bit so the eggs can um, get creamy with the pasta. They can get to know each other here. So let's give that a stir for a second. Because the eggs will make this so creamy and yummy. Thank you, Lisa. Likes my wig. It is extra hot in here. 
Today it is Halloween and it is so warm today. How, like is it like 75 or 80 at the beach today? And we're in here with lights, camera, action, and a wig. Oh wait, I'll show you my shoes. And I have on my fancy boots. My cowboy bought me some fancy boots. <laughs> my going out boots, not my cattle boots. <laughs> okay, so that is getting creamy as it gets warmed up here. So oh my gosh, looks so good. So going into that. I'm going to put about a half a cup of Asiago. You can use what you have, and that's what I have. And I'm going to put some bacon, because, you know, you can never have too much bacon in a dish. And this is a, uh, actually one of the recipes that gave me the idea to even have pumpkin month was this recipe. And here I am, making it on the last day of pumpkin month. But we got it in. OK, so we put salt and pepper in our, oh, a little bit of cinnamon. I'll get my things here. Put a little bit of that in there. Yum. Make sure I got everything in here. I think I did. Okay, we're good. It's all in. So let's serve this and see what my audience thinks of this one. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Use my plate. Oh, ready to need some. Hold on. Let me grab another one. What are you making for your Halloween go-to? When Rex was younger, it was usually made us serve pasta on a plate. I didn't do that very well in front of you, of course, because you're watching. But if you spin it, when you put it on the plate, it looks more prettier and restaurant-like. <laughs> do it a little more gracefully when you have more than one hand to do it. I'm going to put a little cheese on top, and then I'm going to let my people taste it here. So hold on, put a little bacon on there, because I can. A little garnish, and there we go. Our pasta. <laughs> Um, guess what day it is besides Halloween? I know you all know it's ha it's Halloween, but it is knock knock joke day, and I have an audience, so we are gonna have some knock knock jokes. You ready, gang? Because I shouldn't cover your co your comments. Um, knock knock. Who's there? Ghost. Ghost. Ghost Ghost who? Who? Long time no see. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> knock knock. Who's, Who's there? there? B. 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 Who? Beware. There's a full moon tonight! <laughs> the next full moon on Halloween is not for like 35 more years. And the last one was like 35 years ago. So I think it's going to be magic tonight on Halloween. So for our birthday shout outs today, I do have a, a couple. So hold on, let me grab my birthday shout out hat. One of theirs? Okay. Birthday shout out hat goes with the wig. How many things can I wear on my head at the same time? It is Carol Freeze. Oh, hi, Mama. It is your birthday this week, and you are having the big one, big decade birthday. I have a special present for you I bought in D.C. Can't wait to give it to you, but happy birthday to you. Oh, hi, Mama. And it is also Charlie Davis. Happy birthday to you. Looking forward to seeing you in a couple weeks when you are here from the East Coast, so we will see you in a couple weeks. Um, and that, I think, is it today. It is also Caramel Apple Day, which makes sense to be Caramel Apple Day on Halloween. If I figured that out soon enough, we might have made some caramel apples. And then my giveaway today, if you have liked or commented on these videos um, here, they're on Ventura Real Estate on YouTube, and then here on Facebook and on Instagram, um, you're in my fish for a good one. And today, in honor of the election that is coming, look how cute these guys are. They're these little patriotic salt shakers. How cute are they? Cute, huh? Okay. Let's see who's, who's feeling it today. Who's in it to win it? Keep covering up my, com my comments here. Hey, Lori, how are you? <laughs> Lisa's playing a lot of my knock-knock jokes. I love it. Okay. Kelly White. Kelly White. Winner, winner. Patriotic uh, salt shakers. I got to show you guys my shoes, though, before we go. So hold on. Let's see who else is winning our patriotic. Make sure you vote. Everybody has to vote. Promise me you'll go out and vote. And Fawn Peterson, winner, winner of our patriotic salt shakers for today. So thank you guys for watching. Let me see if I can show you my shoes because they're so awesome without breaking my giveaway here. Hold on. You ready? Okay. Check out my cool shoes. 
How awesome were those? I don't wear these when I'm riding the horses, though. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. You can find these, of course, always on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate, and here on Facebook. We love you guys watching. We have an awesome new listing in, in River Park. It's so cute. Three bedroom, two and a half bath. Just for 25, it is too cute, cute, two car, car garage. So who do you know that's looking for a cutie in River Park? We've got a great one right now. It's still available, which you don't hear much around these days. If you know anyone thinking about selling, uh, we are ready. Call us, GaryandLisa.com. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And have a great time tonight on Halloween. Enjoy whatever you are doing, hanging out with your neighbors or hanging out with your family or just passing out candy like that's what we'll be up to. So see you soon. We will see you next time live Wednesdays and Saturdays at 3 o'clock. Thanks for watching.